Very good evening, children. This afternoon, I had taught you adjectives. Let's have a quick glance of what we studied this afternoon. An adjective is a word that describes or modifies a noun. So, uh, as I told you, adjective is a word that describes. Uh, noun is a word it uh, modifies a noun also it tells more about a noun so there are five kinds of adjectives we uh, we studied adjectives of quality adjectives of quality shows the kind or quality of a person or a thing for example kolkata is a large city here the noun is city it uh, shows uh, what is the word that shows that uh, describes that uh, noun large so large is the adjective here okay this is the adjective of quality next uh, yeah adjectives called uh, quality answers the question of what kind every patta then noun and solidate sollo what kind is the noun kolkata is a large city here large is an adjective next is adjectives of quantity quantity describes the quantity of something uh, how much uh, it tells how much and this is uncountable nouns you can't count them uh, example is i ate some rice i ate some rice you can't count rice is it isn't it here noun is rice um, how, how much rice did you eat i ate some rice next is adjectives of number adjectives of number shows how ma- how many persons or thing are uh, meant or in what order a person or thing stands uh, how many uh, adjective of number says how many those nouns can be counted uh, countable nouns are adjectives of number for example each hand has five fingers you can count isn't it so that is adjective of number sunday is the first day of the week first those who shows a place and the number is adjective of numbers next is demonstrative adjective it points out which noun or pronoun you are speaking about these four words will help you to spot demonstrative adjectives such as this that these those all are demonstrative adjectives for example this lady is stronger than maha then the last one is interrogative adjectives these adjectives pose a question ask a question uh, uh, they need a noun or a pronoun by the side you need a noun or a pronoun for example what manner of a man is he here the noun is he hmm? so this is a uh, interrogative adjective next we move on to degrees of comparison degrees uh, of comparison there are three degrees of comparison namely positive comparative and superlative generally uh, we add er to compare uh, one uh, thing to another and uh, superlative you add est generally for example fast faster fa- fastest all right Uh, so uh, monosyllabic that is when you sound uh, a single sound a uh, uh, syllable uh, like for example tall then you add er to compare tall taller tallest likewise uh, fast faster fastest then if it is one uh, syllable uh, you say large larger largest likewise right um, then um, if the the word is in this pattern consonant vowel consonant if the wo- uh, word is in that pattern letter first letter is uh, consonant and then middle you have vowel and uh, the last wo- uh, word is consonant for example big b is a consonant isn't it i is a vowel and g is a consonant if the uh, uh, you have a vowel in between the two consonant wo- in that uh, word then you had uh, the last you double the last letter for example big bigger the g becomes double big bigger biggest and next is uh, when the last word ends with uh, the we- word the last letter ends with y uh, you change the y into i y will change to become i that is happy happier happiest like that if there are two syllables if uh, the word is of two syllable ucharikkum bodu rendu two or more syllables for example beautiful 
you don't say beautiful or beautiful as but you say beautiful more beautiful and most beautiful got it next there are exception cases you don't follow the rules for everything for some for example good better best uh, it, it, uh, you don't write good or goodest Uh, but good better best and there are few examples just refer your book uh, then um, you have uh, when you have to compare two things which is faster a train or a plane you say a plane is faster than a train which is cheaper gold or silver silver is cheaper than gold which is large city or village city is larger than a village which is bigger a sea or an ocean an ocean is bigger than a sea which is taller a giraffe or a camel a giraffe is taller than a camel so when you compare two things you have to uh, use uh, change the uh, degree of comparison uh, positive degree by adding er and then Uh, for two things if you want to compare two you just add er and then for example here a donkey a horse and elephant which is strong they'll ask you they'll, they'll give you two words for the uh, and ask you to compare this uh, in brackets they'll give strong a donkey is strong okay this is a positive degree a donkey is strong a horse is stronger than a donkey can you see that strong is added uh, you have, they have added er to it uh, stronger than a donkey then an elephant the elephant is the strongest is the strongest you have to uh, add the article the to the superlative degree okay positive a donkey is strong a horse is stronger er than a donkey when you compare to when it is uh, Uh, in the superlative degree form you have to write an elephant is the strongest you shouldn't skip the it's very important so i have just given the examples children go to the pdf and read it once or twice and then you will understand hope uh, you understood this children uh, go to this i i i wish that you will uh, understand and do your homework better thank you children that's it for now goodbye